Hi, I'm Ian. Hi, I'm Milish. And we're, we're reading Kid vs. Squid, and we have a question to the author, Greg Van Zeekhout, and it is... Why hasn't anyone killed Scully's head throughout the book? So, what I was thinking was, like, why haven't they killed him with the sword already to, like, get rid of the spell and just destroy him? And I feel like that would just make it way easier for her to just stop doing spells and stuff and, like, hurting the humans of the town. And I'm really kind of confused if that's how it, at the end they kill the head or that's just carrying on the story that they will kill it at the end. But I feel like it would be, it, it would be way easier to just kill it by itself. Like, I, I, I don't understand why Thatcher hasn't killed the head yet, or his uncle, or any of their friends who, like, protect the city. Like, if I was, um, if I was the, if I was one of Shoal, Trudy, or uh, Thatcher, I would have definitely killed the um, the head by now, because then it would it would make her stop casting spells on everyone and getting people in danger and stuff, and that would really help the town. But they still haven't killed it, and it's gotten into the wrong hands lately, and that's not. I just I feel like. I just want to know why haven't they killed the head because I feel like if they just grabbed a knife and just like killed it it would be so much easier and there would there wouldn't be such a big problem with the, the witch casting spell. I mean I know she's powerful but while she's sleeping you could just kill her and I mean you could just slice her like put her in a fire or something. Like, Thatcher said they could do that, but they've never done it, and I'm really confused right now. Milos, do you have anything to say? Yeah. All right, what do you want to say? I say. Do you want to say anything? No. All right. So, I feel like this, um, not killing the head might be something that's supposed to carry on the story or something. Like... They they haven't killed the head yet, and then they still there's another thing that's kind of been weird. It's the title's Kid vs Squid, and they haven't really talked about a squid lately, and the in the story, and it should probably be. I feel like they should. I feel like they should have included some squid if they were gonna use the title Kid vs. Squid, and it's kind of confusing. Maybe in the last couple pages that we're reading, like 40 pages, they'll talk about a squid, but I've been kind of, I've been kind of in like, where's the squid at? I, we haven't seen the squid yet. Like, Milos, do you have anything? Like, why the title's Squid and we haven't seen anything about the squid? And it, like you have, we haven't seen any of that in the story, right? And the and the story, I mean, it, usually the title is what it's about. I mean, we've seen, a, we've heard about these mutant animals, but we haven't heard anything about the the main title, Kid vs. Squid. And um, that was, it's just, I don't, I mean, maybe in a way they meant. Maybe in a way they meant, hey, uh, we'll name it Squid because a lot of these animals are like Squid that the witch is making. But I'm still a little confused. Is like they could have just wrote Kid versus like like monsters, or Kid versus witch. Like that would have probably been a better title than Kid versus Squid. So that's our that was um, two questions. Uh, we want to know from the author why was it kid vs squid and why do, haven't they killed the head yet in the story um, throughout the story because it would have been way easier to just kill it and make it stop casting spells on people and stop hurting people in the town and like destroying things it would be way easier to like go on with their day and not having to deal with this witch and stuff. So do you have anything you, you want to say add to that conversation, Milish? Or what we we're talking about? You don't want to say anything. Okay. So uh
that was our two questions for Kid vs. Squid. And, yeah, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.